Hello. 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 Are we all we good? Yes. I'd like to start. I'd like to tell you about one of the most painful experiences of my childhood. I was on what I thought was a bucking bronco. It turned out it was just a pony of a seizure. <laughs> Everyone was screaming at me, get off Ian, get off! But I just kept holding on, because after a while it got easier. I just stopped moving completely. Bled a bit. Uh, another thing that happened to me, did you ever used to do this when you were young? Where the first time it rained, you'd stick your tongue out and try and catch the rain. Did you ever used to do that? Bird shit in my mouth. <laughs> my mum tried to tell me, she said to me, no, people say it's good luck. <laughs> People who get shit on often say it's good luck. <laughs> no one else. And at primary school, I was very unaware of disabilities and things like that. I thought the kid with a lazy eye was a pirate. <laughs> He'd speak to me just fine, but I insisted on going. Gar! Gar! Leave me alone! But primary school taught me about things like that. Primary school teaches you key things in life you'll never forget. For example, don't talk to strangers. Do not talk to strangers. I would have added, don't talk to familiar paedophiles. <laughs> Just a thought, eh? And something's been confusing me about a paedophilia type thing, and it's NSPCC adverts. What kind of parent puts forward their child to star in an advert about abuse? <laughs> They're asking their child to act abused by, if it were real, them. Did, did they see this advert for abuse kid wanted and think, hmm, oh, Tom would be perfect. <laughs> just, just look at his chubby little fat cheeks to make a conscious decision not to smack him every day. <laughs> It's, it's genuinely hard not to abuse. <laughs> uh, my, my parents used to hit me when I was very, very young. But, but I believe in the circle of life. So when they're very, very old... <laughs> I'll knock them about a bit. <laughs> but no, it's not that simple. I'm going to be ready. What I'm going to do is a bit special. When they're in a home, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push them over, and then I'm going to sellotape all the emergency cards to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's very nice. <laughs> and another thing about primary school, this will shock you all. Can you give me a cheer if your teachers would say this to you? Fingers on lips. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Guess what I found out yesterday? You can still talk! <laughs> Hands on heads, I could still kick someone. <laughs> well, I would have said, this is better, fists in mouths. <laughs> oh, that's much more effective. And religion, religion is fast on your primary school. For me, it was Christianity. There was no variation. We didn't get the occasional Satanist morning assembly. <laughs> Headmistress didn't start with, today, kids, we're going to mourn the fallen angel Lucifer. <laughs> and sacrifice Mrs. Green. <laughs> I had, I had a dream about it, I've just noticed that there, there was a yoghurt thing stuck to my foot. Let's get that down. I had a dream recently uh, about religion. I was in a strange world, everything was reversed, everything was backwards. I walked past a church and I saw six choir boys bumming a priest. <laughs> it was amazing. Now, um, on the subject of bumming, um, can I show you a sex game? Yay! Yeah. Fairly round, yeah, sorry. Right, I don't know if you've heard of this game before, it's called Buckaroo. Right. What you do is you get the girl in the, um, you know, the, the bumming position. You get a sway on, like that. You might want to do a different sway, this is mine. And then you put what would be the items on the donkey's back. You might say, um, ooh, sister's quite attractive. And then you get a buckle. This is where it starts, and you do another one. Putting on the podgy bit, aren't we? You get another buckle. And then you think, fuck it, I'm going to put everything on now. The, the backpack, the lasso, everything. I'm really sorry, but I slept with your sister. And then you've got to see how long you can hold on to it. Before you get thrown off. 
curry over there. <laughs> um, there's also a sex game for Kaplunk. That involves scaffolding. <laughs> and lots of lots of people. We we could do it as a group. But um <laughs> hmm. But um I I've never had much luck with women. And I know what you're thinking. With a sex game like that, why? In the words of Lamar, there's just no justice in the world. But my friend, my friend told me a chat line that always works for him. Apparently it's 100% effective. Even better than Rahitmon. The one he uses is what's a girl like you doing in a place like this. Apparently it always works for him. So I found a girl I wanted to say it to. Been following her for a few months. In a van. <laughs> Stuck pictures of her up on my wall, you know, the usual thing. Um, you've got to be careful though, because that can cost a fortune on blue tack. <laughs> the first rule of stalking, expenses. <laughs> Create a budget, <coughs> and stick to it. <laughs> Don't want to be going in the red, stick to it. <laughs> but I was ready to say this chat up line, I, and I chose the most perfect moment I could think of. It couldn't get more perfect like this. I was ready for it. I played it cool. So, it's a girl like you, doing a request like this. She said, I'm having a shake out of the ladies' toilets! <laughs> Thank you very much for being here.